Hello everybody, uh, my name is Bob, actually you can call me Bob Rock and today I want to do a tutorial series on Ajax, jQuery Ajax actually. Um, typically this is what I want to try to do today. So you have a form like this and then you click save. I want it to actually dynamically post to this table. A lot of applications out there with this technique so for example you have like let's say test one as the username and I do test one at yahoo.com and I do a password of apple 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 when I click save look what happens this dynamically saves on this table dynamically you don't we're not actually redirecting to a different page. We're not actually refreshing this page. Take note of this this search bar here. It doesn't refresh anything. It just dynamically posts to this table, and this table is populated dynamically. We use jQuery Ajax for that, and most applic most MVC applications out there do use jQuery Ajax. Um, so let's try something else again. ABC at yahoo.com oh no ABC ABC user <laughs> okay ABC user okay ABC at yahoo.com ah, seems like I like using this a lot okay password let's just say is BBB and BBB so take note of this and then take note of the table take note of the page nothing refreshes it just automatically binds to the table this is what we want because we want this kind of applic we want this kind of behavior if you want this kind of behavior behavior you just simply use ajax jquery jquery ajax sorry and uh, a lot of a lot of companies who use this a lot of applications use this system this way and that's why ajax uh, jquery ajax is very popular out there so and uh, we're going to be doing this in M mvc um ASP.NET MVC and the layout you see is MVC. The first part of this video will be I'm, I'm going to try my best to make this 10 minutes video. I'm going to try my best to make sure that uh, we try to finish this um, just the UI, just the text box, the body, and then the 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 table design. Then if there's no not enough time, then we might split it in two videos to actually do the actual jQuery Ajax implementation. Uh, so let's let's get started. Oh, let's get started. So okay, I have my Visual Studio open here, and I want to start a new project. Okay, I want ASP.NET application. I'm gonna call this Ajax Tutorial. Ajax Tutorial. Ajax Tooth. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna say MVC. Say okay. All right. So he's trying to load the, the project up. Takes a while, so just give it. Just be patient a little bit. Okay. So. Right, still taking a while to load. Okay, so there you go. All right, so first things first, I actually want to create. Um, I want to create the view. Uh, what you just saw right now. I mean, I want to create this. I want to create this like I want us to start off from here first so let's go to the view and this is the home control this is the home home view the index view so let's go to the view and try to do that so this is like the, this is the home the home the views go under views go to the home and then you're going to see the index view okay okay so this is the home uh, view I want to delete all these things all these ones right here we're going to add our own 
tags and text boxes and stuff like that like you just saw but before we do that we do need to create a model to, so we can actually bind the model to the text boxes um, and then I want to add a user model okay so add a class I'm gonna call it user model alright and I want to add some fields some properties here um, I already have it like I already have those properties here right here okay okay so I already have all these properties so we have the user ID which as of for this tutorial I don't think we're going to be using it but like you saw in the demo, you say we're using user uh, username, you're using the email, and we're just going to use the pa password as well. So this is the model, and we're going to be binding it to this view. Now to tell this view, this index view, about the model we just created, we need to use this razor syntax, add model. Now take note of the model, it's, it's like it's the it's a small small letter starting with a small letter M not capital letter M okay so we need to reference our solution here it's Ajax Ajax tutorials this is a solution alright dot the model remember we created a new model so we're gonna try to assess the model in the models and dot our user model okay this is a user model okay so right now right now whatever we do right now like we can we can just literally do do this at that's the HTML helper HTML HTML dot text box and then we can actually start adding our text boxes okay but I already have this typed out to save time so I'm just gonna try to copy it over so just to save our time so you see I already have it typed out all the way to this place I'm just gonna copy it and then paste it here just to save our time okay okay so what this is doing is this is the header this is our he the header um, yeah. add user and then this is like just to like um, bootstrap uh, columns to actually give it a nice um, put it in the middle and then this is the label for the username this is the text box itself and this is where we actually bind it um, using the properties in the model and then username email password and then this is the table we also have to create the table as well right so this is the table new user list and then I'm also giving it a bootstrap class of column medium 8 column large offset by three so it's actually pushes it to the towards the middle a little bit okay and then I think we're good for now to actually run this just to see what we have right now okay uh, it's not a much but just to see that uh, we've actually created just the, um, the user interface for now okay let's run this and see what we have Okay, it's coming up. Okay. All right. Shouldn't be taking too long to load. I guess the first time it it runs, I think it takes a little bit of time to actually load. Everything else is going to be fine. Okay, so we have. Uh, okay, so we have this right here. Okay, same thing like before, and then this you're gonna like hit save, and then we have the table. But right now the table doesn't look really right. Um, it looks too congested. So I'm gonna try to add. Um, I'm gonna add CSS styles styling to this. Well, it's. I mean, you can just learn if you don't really know CSS but if you know CSS just take try to you know just try to follow up or something